This segment brought to you by Kansas Grain Sorghum, growers working together. Find out more at ksgrainsorghum.org. Oh, silly, silly us. Silly, silly us. Well, well, this next story, I have to say, um, speaking of silly people, I um, came across this story because of my good friend Carol Yoho, who is not silly, but her late husband, Max, embodied silliness. And, of course, the Yoho kids carry on the Yoho kids. Uh, a condition. I started to say, yeah, the Yoho condition uh, tradition and just a wonderful, talented family. But Carol, who is so into the film festivals and the silent film festival, so Carol's always posting on Facebook, and this was a great story about the Buster Keaton Festival coming up this weekend in Iola, in lovely Iola, Kansas. People, well, a lot of people don't maybe realize Buster Keaton, yes, is from Kansas. Another one, just there's no end, but another one of those incredible talents, born in Kansas. Not always on purpose, but nonetheless, born in Kansas. Buster Keaton was almost literally born in a trunk. His parents had stopped in Piqua, Kansas in early October 1895 while performing with a traveling medicine show. Myra Keaton missed playing the saxophone at the October 4th performance when Buster arrived, delivered in a boarding house just across the street from the site of the evening performance. Young Keaton began appearing on stage with his parents at a tender age, becoming a vaudeville star on Broadway and earned a reputation as a comic genius in the world at large with a body of classic silent film comedy. He died in California in 1966 the city of Iola, Kansas, seven miles east of Piqua, decided that it was time to start celebrating the life of their Kansas native son with an annual Buster Keaton celebration. All celebrations have been hosted by the Ballas Fines Art Center in Iola. Past celebrations have included insights into Buster's work by such notables as Eleanor Keaton, David Shepard, Steve Allen, Kevin Brownlow, and Leonard Malton. These and other Keaton experts have mixed with fans in this pleasant small-town atmosphere. Celebrations occur on the last weekend of September. We celebrate the life of Buster Keaton with film, lecture, music, and sharing. Buffalo Bill Cody earned his legendary title in Oakley. Bring the family and come celebrate Oakley's pioneering history and unique geography at two sites, the Buffalo Bill Cultural Center and the Fick Fossil Museum. Cody's statue marks his achievements and welcomes visitors to the Cultural Center. The Fick Fossil Museum houses world-class fossils and artifacts. You'll find Oakley at the hub of U.S. Highways 83 and 40 and I-70. Stop for the legend. Stay for the day. Discover Oakley.